Hey everyone, this is Adele Ali, a University of Guelph student working on Ruby board this semester. My project this semester is the API Explorer, whose goal is to create a friendly UI for the web API when accessing it from a web browser. Um, one of the core components of the API Explorer is the is syntax highlighted form of the payload. Um, we wanted to present it this way in order to uh, allow developers to you know, easily analyze and uh, read the payload response. Uh, we've also had a, a form for RESTful requests. So this one is a GET request. As you can see, it's presented in a collapsible uh, HTML input element. Uh, this makes it easier to you know, uh, modify the page as you need it. As you can see here, we can just make a simple GET request. Right, as you can see there, performed it. Uh, we've also uh, added support for post requests. Um, let's close this here, because this is a fairly large resource. Simply make the post request here. Um, it does not automatically update the payload, though, when you make the post request. Um, I mean, it's a simple fix, but um, as you can see, also, uh, the primary focus was on functionality. Um, there's still, uh, let's say, there's a lot to do for styling. Um, I mean, we have the collapsible elements, but I mean, obviously, these uh, headers here are not aligned. So anyways, let's make this get request. Right, as you can see, that it's made successfully. Um, we also have support for file uploads. So let's do a quick file upload here. Great, as you can see, it's done the post request successfully. Um, that's been my project so far this semester. I mean, there definitely is a lot to do in terms of uh, enabling maybe even put and delete requests, as well as uh, obviously improving the styling. Um, the put and delete request shouldn't be too difficult, uh, considering the support has already been made for get and post requests. Um, just be uh, mostly a change on the back end. So anyways, thank you for uh, watching my demo.